Lori and Denise from Dead Size Matter, and we've got a super cool review for you today. We are in Sewell, New Jersey, and they tell me that that's also pronounced Sewell if you have the Jersey accent, but I'm Canadian, so it's Sewell, New Jersey, eh? <laughs> so we are here at Dylan's RV Center, and they carry the Newmar line, so we are going to do the Newmar New Air. And what's interesting about this one and why we were really wanting to get in it is that this is Newmar's answer to a luxury coach in a little smaller version. And so, yeah, I wanna see how they've put that together and we wanna show you. Don't forget at the end, there'll be some links that'll take you to the nuts and bolts construction of the Newmar product and probably some of our adventures or things like that too so come along on those and also remember that Corey and I just do a ton of research we did go on the Newmar factory tour to learn everything that we can but ultimately everything we're sharing with you here is just our opinions based on the way we use an RV so we hope that you guys will chime in if you have one of these and share your knowledge and information too in the comments section so let's go check out the new air Man. It's just me. Were you expecting anybody else? No, no, just you. <laughs> this is a luxury coach. I mean, let's start with the floor. <laughs> so these are actual ceramic tiles grouted. Go check out the construction video because I did talk about the fact that the grout has an epoxy in it. I mean, it's put in just the way it would be in a house, but with the epoxy and the grout, it can handle a little bit of flexion and movement. But with the star super structure that they put over the chassis to keep everything level and straight, um, I think these floors are doing really well. I've not heard any complaints from anybody about these tile floors and they're just plain old beautiful while we're down here <laughs> can you see this there's a little bit of a lip it's not even a lip it's like a transition that is the level of the uh, where the slide would come up and over where is it over here because this is a super slide oh I see okay because of the way this is engineered and planned, this one is in that sort of boxy area over there. So that would just lift up and come over and they can just have this beautiful seamless floor. That, I don't know, something about the floor without seams just makes everything seem more wide open and residential. So I like that. Next, let's go over to the, I think they called this a flex steel uh leather this is it's very nice i like the colors in here they're not um they're not the whites which people worry about getting dirty but they are uh lighter so i like that i'm just gonna see how this works so it looks like we've got a hide a bit yeah okay so this is just the traditional hide a bed pick it up pull it out Oh, and these little arm pieces just fold down. What happens to this? It stays in place. Okay, so that's nice. I do like um, this window. I like windows to be able to open, but there's something to be said about an uninterrupted view. So, I mean, whichever way is your preference, I think these are good. And the side windows are sliders that lift up and hook into these so you'll get that cross ventilation that I like. Got some nice sconces. Let's take a look at the blinds. Okay. Oh, I think these might be power, so I'm not going to pull them. But you do get a day and a night shade. There's also an electric outlet, not on this side, but back there, plus LED up there. Quite a bit of storage that goes back and it's very reachable got some cute accent lighting throughout the slide so i'm liking all that over here we get a nice cabinet as well with some back lighting and a bit of glass in there uh, not super deep or anything but 
You could put some nicer things in there. Well, you can put not nice things in there too if you want. <laughs> oh, did you catch that? Look at that again, everybody. Well, now it's not doing it. Oh, there. Latches on its own. Fireplace. I do like fireplaces in a rig. Ooh, a little bit of storage there, not in this one. So then moving over to the dinette. Oh, they've got some pretty accent pillows here that kind of match the table. So solid surface table like that. The same fabric on the dinette seats. Another massive, uninterrupted, beautiful window. And your TV is going to be in here, so that'll just come up and down. You've got the wall sconces and the electric again. I think these pads here are for you to control all your electronics. Sound like something that I can be going, how do I do the, Corey, this doesn't work. Courtney, I did click on that. <laughs> That's how it sounds at our house. I don't think that this makes down into a bed. I just can't figure it out. If it does, I'll ask and, and let you know but I don't think it does in that all of these cushions are like pretty stay in there, but you can still get in underneath um, with what I love, which is a drawer. But I'm thinking, well, wait a minute, that's a pretty shallow drawer for this big space, but underneath is the rest of that slide mechanism. So that's why it's like that, but it's still storage. And you've got storage up here, which is also kind of small, but you're probably you know, you got slide mechanisms again. And here, so that's a little deeper. Oh, but it does have some electronic gadgetry in it, which is good because I probably won't go in it. Then moving back into the kitchen. So remember, this is a smaller coach. And what I often find is that when a coach starts to lose length, it often comes out of the kitchen countertop space. And I don't think that's happened here. This, this has a good chunk between the sink and the stove. Because remember, all of these coaches put covers over the sinks and the stoves, and then it makes it look like it's this vast amount of countertop space. But the truth is, your real prep space is between there and there. And sometimes they have like a fold out or something like that, but this is your real prep space. And that's why I like having divided sink pieces or sink covers so that I can put this, well, it would go the other way around on this side, use that as my prep surface. And this is my sink space. So you do get a, um, one piece undermount stainless sink. I mean, I do prefer the divided one so that I can wash and rinse because in order to do that, you, you're gonna have to have some type of um, drain thing or something up here. But anyways, you do get the uh, nice solid surface polished countertops. You get this great tap with a sprayer. So I do like that. You get all this space. You get another huge uninterrupted window up here is quite a bit of storage space with a pullout. You know how I love pullouts. You do get this nice big whirlpool convection microwave. Wow, that's a big door. Okay. And then coming down, here is a two burner induction stove. Um, so again, all electric. So depending on your needs and how you're going to use your coach, that could be fabulous or that could be a problem for you. And it certainly isn't a problem that can't be managed. You get a very nice real tile backsplash. You get, oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Remote drawer. A remote drawer. Yeah. Okay. So that's totally too many remotes. But if this is meant to be, I don't know what this is meant to be with this divider in here, right? Like if this was meant to be, that's not your utensils. So why do you want this divider in here? So if any of you out there have this coach and use this divider for something specific, please chime in in the comments and let us know what you do with this space. Because for me, it would be 
like I guess ladles. I don't know. But I don't want to dedicate a whole drawer to ladles. Um, that's a nice one. I like it. And then there's this one as well. Okay. So here's my beef. The bigger, well, I don't even know if it's that much bigger, but the bigger drawer actually has that whole divider system in it. And I would prefer maybe this to be one that uh, was deeper and took pots and pans and things like that. And then we have smaller ones here. And there's one, two, three, four, but no dividers. <laughs> so if that's meant to be my utensils, that's just too weird. I don't need a whole big door drawer dedicated to utensils. Okay, that's good. Right? I like that space. And then under the sink here, you get your little sponge thing, which is good. Then here, check this out. Right? Because normally you'd put your garbage can in that space under the sink. You don't have to. This is good. I guess the other thing that at first glance I didn't like, but now that I'm in here, it doesn't bother me so much, is I didn't like that the kitchen seemed so far away and isolated from the living space and you've got this whole wall in there. Um, but now that I'm standing in this kitchen and I could see me, I don't, I don't think that would be a problem. It's very airy and open and just fine. So this is the bathroom. Let's go in here. First thing that I like is that it has a pocket door. That's heavy, heavy duty pocket. Oh, I see why. You guys can't see why. You'll have to come in here to see it. But I love pocket doors. It's not in the way. And on this side of the pocket door is a full length mirror. Perfect. A porcelain Dometic toilet. This is that egress door we were talking about outside. So this is your handle and lock, that kind of thing opens up. Uh, give it a push out, I guess. We won't test it. Let's go into the shower. This is interesting. This is beautiful. This is a real tile shower. Look at this rain fixture. Oh, while we're in here, I wanted to mention that this rig has a water saving system where you know when you start the shower and then me i'm not getting in until it's warm so you could be wasting water and filling up your gray tank while you're waiting for that to get warm so usually corey goes first gets the cold shower and then i get the warm one <laughs> isn't he a gentleman <laughs> but this is a system where it doesn't kick on the actual pump and spraying of the water until the temperature is up to where you want it. So it's a real water saver. So I like that. These fixtures are great. Oh, it even has this. Do you think there's enough water? Well, I guess when you're plugged in, right? <laughs> there's enough water to sit in the shower. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. It looks great. You've got some built-in um, dispensers. Let's check out this door. Okay, so it could go either way. And I like the clear glass, it's just not Corey's thing. You could live with it though, right? So if I wanted this rig, <laughs> When your YouTube channel makes enough to buy this rig, you can buy this rig. Please help me. <laughs> this, did you look at the drain in this? It's an interesting setup too. And of course, everything's grouted and caulked and beautiful. Over to this side where your vanity is. So you've got that same solid surface uh, countertop with a built-in sink, nice taps, comes out at a decent space. You've got some storage up there. I'm going to check, see if there's some behind this very nice lit mirror. So there's storage in there. There's also electric in there because I see there's no electric here. Oh, but there is down there. So you got electric up there and you've got electric down here. Heating. More storage there. Okay, so this is that um, Dometic toilet where you can add the water or go without the water too. So that's 
helping for water saving, right? And, and of course, the beautiful towel floor continues in here. So coming back, oh, here we are at the residential refrigerator. <laughs> so you would have thought that, and I guess that's what I mean by it seemed like the kitchen was kind of back out, out of the space of the living space, but it's not that big of a deal. So this is a locked in place Samsung refrigerator. Big, beautiful, all electric with a two level freezer space. So very nice. And it's good that it has that locking device on it for when you're in transit. So coming back here to the pantry, notice that there's a locking device up there as well. So make sure that's open. And there you go. And you get a whole bunch of pullouts. I love it. I really love that. You can fit so much stuff in there. And this one is lit. Very nice. I will lock it. Then you come back into the bedroom. So just stay there for a minute and let me show you. This is one of the things I don't really like about the full wall slides is that when you come into your coach, into the living area, you can see right back into the bedroom. I don't really like that feature, give and take, right? They do have a pocket door here, which again is, is a nice glass door. It goes back into there. So it's not like you can't divide the space. So come on back. This looks like a king bed to me. There's a little step up here because this is where your motor and things are. So I'll just come back and we can take, oh, you're wondering what these are. If you flipped them over, these are ottomans, two very nice square ottomans that would fit in front of that couch out there. So, and you can flip the tops so they could be like coffee tables or they can be softer and they could be an ottoman. You can put your feet up. This is all storage. There is an electric plug back there. Um, you have your little pad that runs everything and it looks like a light switch as well. Uh, what is that window? That's an interesting window, isn't it? Oh, it is! How cool is that, everybody? Okay, so it's an emergency exit but it can be your window uh, but instead of having blinds well it still has a day blind in there but instead of having a night blind you have that so okay it's a nice feature it's kind of different and cool but you can never have this whole window open so I don't like that because I really like the light but if that's not a big deal for you that's kind of a cool feature or one of you can have it open and the other not, but you can still get airflow through these side windows. So you do get a bit of a nightstand here and there is electric and a little cubby down there too. Um, you know, so that's useful. I wonder if you can get under the bed. Oh yeah. Okay. Can you get even under those, do you think? No, they're in there pretty tight. I don't think they do. Don't break stuff you don't own, but yeah, try it. Break it and you buy it. That's going to be my new way of getting stuff. Okay. The bed. Um, okay, let's check out the... <gasps> Wait a minute. Oh, no. <laughs> I've had this dilemma in another re review we did a while back. Why do you have tinted mirrors? I don't even get it. Like, most often you put mirrors in things to either make the space look bigger or as a functioning mirror. And this certainly doesn't make the space look bigger. I mean, it's dark and it's not a functioning mirror. So I really don't get the point. I don't like it. If somebody else has a purposeful, I mean, I get it. Some people might like it, but what's the purpose behind a tinted mirror? And it's both sides. Now, the other one we did just had no other mirrors that were accessible. This one has a full-length mirror on the bathroom door. 
So that's important. At least it has a mirror. So I guess this wouldn't make or break my purchase, but I don't like it. I'm sure it's an option that you could it not have tinted mirrors. It would have to be. Okay, so this has a little locking system down here. Let's check out the size of this closet. Oh! Is that as far as it goes? It is indeed a walk-in. <laughs> You've got your extra dining chairs in here. You've got a safe, your rod, your, lots of floor space, some built-ins, a couple of cupboards. Oh, that one's got fuses and electric and that kind of stuff in it. And this one just has access to hoses. So that's great. You need that. Okay, so what I'm stepping over there is pieces to make the table larger. So you could have more people around that table if you wanted, so they wouldn't necessarily have to be there. Also, it's lit when you open it, so that's cool. What do we have here? Only one handle. <gasps> oh, look at that, people. So these are splendid. Separate washer dryer, love it, love it, splendid. love it. It's <laughs> very splendid indeed. Okay, again, you've got this nice little lit fix feature here. You get quite the TV in your bedroom, that's nice. Get some upper storage, so that's good. It goes quite deep back there, and it's very accessible. Uh, your LED lighting, another window, and oh wow, these are quite deep drawers. I like those. And there as well. So you're getting three across and three across. So whenever I see cabinets like this with a step in it, I'm thinking, why? Why did you do that? Why not bring it out to here? But what it is is because there are slides that have to come in here. So when these slides come in, this mattress is going to end up butting up against here. So that brings up another subject we need to talk about, which is when the slides are in on this rig, what's accessible? Now, um, if you can get through the front, and we'll go look at that, in this room, you'd be able to climb into this bed. So you could sleep in here with the slides closed, but let's go see what the rest of this will do with the slide closed. This, remember, is that big full wall slide. So when it comes in, I'm thinking this is going to be the tightest spot here. So, Corey's telling me that when this comes in, it's probably about a foot and a half of, of that it comes in. This is going to be the tightest space, right? So. I would probably be able to squish through here, get down here, get into the bathroom, and probably I'd be able to open the fridge door. Partially. Partially, yeah, probably not the whole way. I'd probably be able to get into the pantry. I could use the fridge. There, you could use everything. You could use the, fix the stove. Yep, I can use everything. The stove, the sink, the cabinets, the microwave, the bed, the bathroom, the dinette. So what we're saying is you can come in the door and like any class A with it slides in, there's going to be a narrow pathway through here. It's going to be scrunchy through here, but it leaves everything completely accessible. I like so there is two 15M Penguin heat pump air conditioners in this rig. And then of course they circulate throughout. Then it has that hydronic heating system which is diesel we are not sure if there's an electric alternative to that or not um, but it has exchangers in it that heat it or make warm air and then they get blown out through these types of registers that are through out the rig um, and then that also gives you all that uh, hot water whenever you need it this is a electric fireplace which says that it warms up to a thousand square feet too so again if you got electric <laughs> you've got lots of heat um, but otherwise you do have that diesel heat on the 2020 Newmar new air 
3543, we want to talk about the numbers. So we've already talked about that it's 450 horsepower. It has a 4.78 axle ratio and it has a 90 gallon fuel tank. The gross vehicle weight is 38,600 pounds. You can tow 10,000 pounds, but you have to include the hitch weight of that towing, which if you're flat towing isn't that much, in your cargo carrying capacity. And the cargo carrying capacity is 3,400 pounds. So just to help you calculate that out a little bit. Now, the length, it comes in at 35 feet 10 inches, the width at 101.5 inches, the overall height 12 foot 3 inches, the interior width 95.5 inches, interior height 81.5 inches, gray tanks at 60 gallons, black tanks at 40 gallons, fresh waters at 105 gallons, and that furnace is giving you 50,000 BTUs of heat. A few things that uh, I wanted to mention as well, that this has an independent front suspension and what they call a V-ride drive axle suspension and I guess that just helps it um, move a little easier and they say it, it drives more like an SUV. Uh, it also has the comfort drive steering system which uh, helps to keep the, the rig a little more centered in the lane and handles wind and movement, um, which then helps with driver fatigue. You're not having to steer quite as much, so it does have that. But I also wanted to say that it has the eight six volt AGM uh, batteries and a 10 watt solar panel that charges the chassis battery, so it's not gonna charge those AGM batteries. And the other feature that I don't think I mentioned that is important to know on a coach of this level is that this is all wood cabinetry. So I hope that's helped you out. Maybe you're gonna get one of these, that would be really cool, and I hope you would share with us if, if you are. And if you already have one, we'd really like to hear your opinions in the comments. Otherwise, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Give us a like. Don't forget to click on the end at the construction nuts and bolts video that we've made, or maybe some of our other models, or come along on an adventure with us. That would be cool too. Thanks for watching.